Strong storms dumped sheets of rain and hail throughout the area earlier this evening. We start our coverage tonight with overnight reporter Ron Hissong. He has a look at some of the damage left behind. Rock and roll a little bit earlier, Alyssa. Luckily, there have been no reports of injuries at this time, but some areas saw a lot of damage. Trees are down all over the area, including these on Cedar Lane. That's on the east side of Fort Wayne. State Road 9 in Noble County was shut down earlier because of a downed tree, or downed trees rather, blocking the road. A barn in Merriam collapsed after strong winds blew through there. The owner of the barn was in Fort Wayne when the storm hit. Now, driving from Fort Wayne to here is a half an hour, so a lot of things are going through your mind. Is it other than just the, the barn? Is there anything done to the house or the detached garage? And fortunately, nothing else was wrong. Everything is kind of settled in now, so it's just what's next step, uh, sitting down, trying to remember exactly what was in the barn. And Terry also told us the only valuable things in the barn were a vehicle and a lawnmower. He says some of the debris flew more than 150 yards from the barn's original location. The family has already notified the insurance company and says they're just glad no one was hurt. We'll continue to uh, follow any of the overnight damage that we may still get some reports on. Of course, uh, photos at Wayne.com or the reported feature, a good spot. And we'll have it for you on First News at 5 a.m. Yeah, and it's always amazing when you see that. You, rem you remember how powerful Mother Nature really can be. And they weren't here long. They were in and out very quickly. Yeah, they did. Okay, thank you very much, Rod.